We live in a society where opinions have been forged into currency. There is a curated pocket on the internet for every single one of us, where expressing our views, whether they're right or wrong, can be traded for social value. We've created a reward system for projecting our opinions. Not only are we encouraged to get a dopamine hit by hopping on the political topic of the day, but we instill guilt and shame in those who decide to watch the outrage train go by. And this doesn't mean that important topics shouldn't be discussed, but just rather is social media the best place to do so. Take for example the latest hot topic. Israel vs Palestine. I'm comfortable admitting that I don't fully understand what's going on, let alone how to fix it. This conflict has been going on for 73 years, and the reasons for it can date back as early as 63 BC. Yet in just a few days time, everybody online became an expert in foreign affairs and history. We've all heard that silence is violence, but what happens when your voice creates a space for violence? Again, I don't understand the issue itself, but I do know that an indirect consequence to the response by everybody has led to a shocking rise in anti-Semitism. And the Washington Free Beacon just broke the story of an anti-Semitic post from Google's global head of diversity strategy. A little too ironic. Not making a distinction between the people and a nation when condemning its actions has historically not played out so well. And a post on social media resembles more of a presentation than it does a conversation. So I pose the question, if all of your social media followers were put into a room and you were handed a microphone, would you feel confident enough in your knowledge on the political topic of the day to give a presentation on it? 